building a new school or hospital, maybe you're remodeling an old office building. One of the first things to think about is this. Which construction delivery method is right for you? From hard bid to design build, there are several different methods to choose from. Let's take a look at each one so you can decide which one best fits your needs. First up, hard bid, also known as design, bid, build. This method is pretty straightforward. First, the owner, that's you, hires a designer. The designer draws up a set of plans and gets the owner's final approval. Next, the owner bids the work out to a few general contractors, or GCs, and hires the lowest bidder. The GC then begins work, hiring subcontractors as needed. And just like the general contractor, those subcontractors are hired based on lowest bid. Unfortunately, a lack of transparency means you don't normally get to see those bids and may never know if you've overpaid by the end of your project. Next up is Construction Management Agency, or CM Agency. Two key differences you'll see here are one, the owner hires both the designer and the CM agent, aka CM, at the very beginning of the project, and two, you hire each of these firms based on their qualifications, not the lowest bid, and negotiate their fees. Once this is done, you'll work with the designer and the CM during the design phase to draw up the plans and produce estimates to keep the project in budget. This collaboration leads to fewer change orders down the road. As the owner, you hire the subcontractors, with the CM acting as a consultant representing your best interests. Plus, open book accounting means you have full access to all cost information for the project. But because you control the budget, subcontractors, and schedule, you also hold the risk. Another method to consider is construction manager at risk, or CM at risk. CM at risk is similar to CM agency in a few ways. One, the owner hires the construction manager based on qualifications with a negotiated fee. Two, the construction manager collaborates with the owner and architect during the design phase to help shorten the schedule, reduce the need for change orders, and build more value into your project. And three, you still have access to all project cost information in this open book delivery system. The key difference, however, is in the name of the delivery method itself. Instead of the owner, it's the construction manager who's at risk in this scenario. So exactly how much risk is the construction manager taking on? First, there are the subcontracts. And in this method, those subcontracts are awarded to the bidder who provides the most value. Schedule and quality, along with price, are taken into consideration here. If a subcontractor fails halfway through the project, the CM at risk bears the burden of finding another sub to finish the work. Second, the CM at risk must provide the owner with a guaranteed maximum price, meaning that any cost overruns come out of the construction manager's pocket, not yours. Third, the CM at risk is bound to the construction schedule. Any additional costs for overtime or expedited materials needed to meet that schedule belong to the CM at risk, not the owner. So if you're an owner taking on a large project, that risk to reward ratio can look pretty appealing. Finally, let's look at design build. The most collaborative of these delivery methods, design build calls for the contractor and design team to work together under a single contract from day one. This level of coordination from the outset greatly reduces change orders, shortens the entire project timetable, and adds more overall value for you. And you only need one contract to hold both your designer and builder accountable for design, budget, schedule, and risk. Now that you know a little bit about each, let's compare all four. First, how do they stack up in terms of transparency? In a hard bid project, the GC can spend your dollars on your project as he sees fit without having to report back to you. But construction management and design build are all open book delivery formats, giving you full access to your project cost information. What about schedule? Here's a good rule of thumb. The sooner you bring your builder into the design process, the shorter the project schedule, with fewer change orders and more overall value. Another important consideration is the level of risk you, the owner, will be taking on. As you can see, the number of contracts the owner holds, and therefore the amount of risk, goes down as you go from CM agency to CM at risk to design build. Is a collaborative team approach important to you? If so, then construction management or design build might be right for you. Only in these formats do the builder and designer work together during pre-construction to predict and solve potential problems on paper before they become real problems on your job site. 
These are four common delivery methods used by the construction industry today. We hope this helps you find the one that's right for you.